When our yeah. kids were younger, we would just sneak away to the closet. Oh. And we, and we kind of knew what that meant. It you were talking like, about the closet before. I was like, like closet. Closet. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I'm kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, mom. What's up? 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 Hey Ma. Hey. hey Ma. We're back with another episode of Moms Actually, hey. where motherhood meets, meets sisterhood. sisterhood. <laughs> Today we have not just one special guest, but two special guests. We have Mrs. Tammy Franklin, as well as Carrington Franklin. Nikwasa. 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 There we go. Thank you. Got it. Got it. I even practiced. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mouthful. Don't, yeah. don't feel bad. Yeah. Thank you for the grace. Yes. I'm Morgan. And I am Blair. Yes. And I'm Sopa. Yes. Well, y'all ready? Yes. What are we talking about today? <clears throat> what are we talking about today? It's gonna get today? a little spicy today. It's getting a little <laughs> spicy. So here, I'm gonna tell you guys what we do. We play a little game called It's Giving Motherhood. And honestly, this is a great game to play before this topic today. So this is what we're gonna do. You get, grab your paddle here. Gold means yes, white means no. I'm gonna read these questions. You only have a couple seconds to answer. The first answer is the right answer, okay? <laughs> okay. Got it. All right, all right. Sex during pregnancy or nah? Definitely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was, I was big, y'all. Um, were you scared to have sex after babies? First. Mm -hmm. The first one. Did it feel the same after the babies? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel sexy after having kids? Now. Yes. Do you feel sexy now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you schedule sex? Yes. Sometimes. Yeah, tried. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel comfortable being naked? Uh, no. Uh, now. No. Yeah, it's like yeah, sometimes. No, 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 no. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's just jump right into right. it. Good good job, y'all. What what's what's like what holds you back from feeling comfortable like being naked around your husband? <laughs> Y'all are like, <laughs> who's next? Who's first? Who's first? I, I find the yeah. more confident I am in myself, yeah. the more confident I am around him. He doesn't care. And what, right. I, what I, I mean, we've been married 26 years. And mm -hmm. one of the things that makes me feel so beautiful is that he's loved me no matter what. Yeah. Um, so it's about me loving myself. Yeah. Um, and sometimes I, I intentionally push past that yes. and be like, girl, Mm -hmm. This your man, y'all been, y'all been, y'all empty nesters, y'all, you know. Um, so sometimes I do push past the fear, but it's amazing to me as women how I'm letting y'all know that it, you have to just continue to work on that. I've been married, of course, longer than you all, yeah. um, but it's something. It's still 26 years later. Wow. I still, still yeah. So do you guys, do you guys get dressed up for your man? Like, do you do the whole lingerie thing, or you're like, look, I'm naked here, I'm in the bed, take me as I am. Like, do you do the whole, you know? thing or do you just it's after all these years or you know after kids because sometimes after a full day of mommying like mm -hmm. who has time to get cute well as i said i'm empty nester oh <laughs> um, <laughs> this is who has the time yes. <laughs> so i got a little more time today um but it just i mean it depends i would say for y'all probably too yeah, it just yeah. kind of depends on you know, sometimes i'll go and i'm realizing that it's been a while mm -hmm. since i've done something special like that and i'm like wait a minute let me let me zhuzh it up. Yeah, are y'all like spontaneous? You, you, yes. Yes. Because yeah. I have like a, I got a drawer. I got like all this stuff and then, <laughs> I've, I've, I've never, no, yeah. I haven't worn it. You know what, I, I used to it. have all of that. But my husband is like, I don't have the time. He does. He's like, <laughs> all he's the like, buttons. Yeah. Yes, he's like, it's like I it's just, but he's yeah. like, actually, I'll like, be Like, have fine. you guys ever tried yeah. garters? Yeah. Like, you can't get your underwear yeah. off. Have your kids ever walked in on you? Yes. Like my kids have not, but his mom has. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, we levels. don't talk about that. But <laughs> is there like, how do you set the boundaries? Like, do you have a, a better time where you're like, okay, I know that the kids are not gonna walk in, so I, you know, do you have time? Nap time for you. <laughs> Nap time is definitely time. Hey. Yes. 
Maybe I just need to get We're better. We're sending him outside to the backyard. We'd be like, go play outside. <laughs> play? Yes. I can't Enjoy. wait. Mine Stay here. <laughs> Mine is old enough to do that. Mine is one and three. Just, Oh, your kids? two. He two. just yeah, he just turned two. So when our oh. kids were younger, we would just sneak away to the closet. Oh, and we and we kind of knew what that meant. It you were talking like, about the closet before. I'm like, like closet. Closet. Hold, on, hold on, I'm kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is oh. Uh, I was like, wait a minute. I went to that closet to get something to wear. <laughs> no. She's like, I remember that closet. <laughs> yes, we had a closet look like oh. oh. All right, I mean, getting close. See you in a minute. We, we just had the conversation about the closet. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. yeah. It's like a little, you know, a little one two in the closet, real quick. Yeah, not a one two. A little one two. Was that the one at the wedding? Okay, y'all. Okay. Oh. So, okay, so like sometimes I feel like you gotta spice it up, especially if, like for me, I'm not always the best at like consistency. Mm -hmm. So one time we did, you know, sneak away. We were a bride, I was a bridesmaid, he was the um, groomsman in the reception. We snuck away. And we told the bride, we was like, yeah, we was, we was you know, and she so was like, yeah, she was like, I'm so honored. <laughs> she thought it was the greatest thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think spontaneous, like the spontaneity of things can kind of spice things up too, instead of like the same old, same old. I would, I would I wish I could do it more. But In my head, I'm so spontaneous. Like I, think, <laughs> like I think about all the stuff I'm gonna do during the day, and then oh, the, the same. evening yes. comes, and it's, it's like, like the morning you, woo. and then the afternoon, yes. the night you is not the same person. Okay, suggestion. Ladies. Okay, okay. Please yeah, tell, tell us. us. Tell do us. not wait till the. I learned not to wait till the evening. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. yes. If you feel it, you feel it. Okay. And go okay. with it. Otherwise, things happen. It won't, yeah, it won't happen. I mean, sometimes they may say something crazy, yeah. and you're like, oh, you know what? You don't know what I have planned for you. Right. You did not do that dish. I'm dried up. Forget it. I'm dried okay. up. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, it's gone. Yeah. yeah it's you know, and I'm so make it through. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Like, I'm gonna make it. So I learned just if I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, let's, you know, and you know, they feel it as soon yeah. as you feel oh, it. Oh, yeah. You know, always, so, always yeah, so don't practice not waiting until till the night. There's, okay. there's nothing I magical about it. Keep us night. married. Keep us yeah. happily there's, married. There's nothing, because I mean, you end up being tired. Yes. yes. Emotions mm -hmm. change. Something yeah. happens. And so, so just do you go make with up it. for it when you fall asleep on your man? Like, what, what's, how do you make up for that? Because I know I fall asleep sometimes. Yeah, I've, I'll be falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, what y'all do? I hype him up the next day. I'm like, oh. do you keep your word? All day, all day, all day, texting, memes. We just keep sending. Does he know this? Is he gonna watch this and be like, hold on? He, he, I don't think, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. But that's how we kind of keep it spicy too. It's like every day. He, he does it better than me though. Of He's always, yes. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But no, sometimes I, I still feel like a shared calendar. And so yeah. when I'm really like feeling it, oh, yeah. I'll mm -hmm. like put on his calendar FaceTime. Yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> FaceTime. Oh, FaceTime. FaceTime. But no, I have a question for you, Carrington. When we were doing the paddles, you said it doesn't feel quite the same as mm. before. Yeah, you know, things are a little different. Yeah. You know, yeah. I did have a natural birth. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, things, it seemed like they maybe moved around a little bit. Yeah. Right. I mean, like, like, I mean, it feels, you know, I'm sure, he, I'm sure he feels fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I asked my husband that, though. I'm like, does it feel different? Yeah, mm -hmm. You did? It, like, no. Oh, really? Yeah, they don't care. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> and it's us. Like for me, yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking a lot too. Like mm -hmm. again, going back to the mom body and just like my stretch marks and my boobs that have been, um, you know, through three okay. breastfed children. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, my boobs are just kind of <laughs> swinging. The fun bags. <laughs> yeah, they get different just, too. Just but, deflated. A, a little communion juice. Oh, oh, oh can tell. Communion. Yeah. Yeah. Communion juice. That's true. It helps yeah. with that. Just because you know. you're not thinking about and music. Like, yeah, you're not so music. Music. Yeah. I have yeah. to have music. Yeah. Music. So Norman always helpful. laughs because I'm like, I'll put on a playlist. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I put on some like we have a playlist. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah I put on like the other day. I went on um you know my iPhone. No, I didn't make it. I just looked up sex playlist and they exist. It's already there. You don't even have to make a mixtape like back in the day. Did you like the song? I don't remember the song. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they did the job. That's good. I'll they did the job. <laughs> yeah, that's a joke. My thing is like when the kids are there, if they're like knocking on the door, it's like it throws me off. Yeah. And I'm like, or I'm always thinking about like, what if, even if they're yeah. in their room or like doing something, I feel like there's sometimes where I'm like, what if the kids need something? Or what if they, right. you know, want to walk in or like whatever the case. And my husband would be like, if you don't, like these kids do not matter right now. Like, I think I just have yeah. to get over that. Like, is that something that you guys have 
have had where you're yeah. like, I'm always thinking about the kids needing something or, you know, you're like, no. I was like, going to no. say in nap time, they wake up during <laughs> nap time no. or they don't go to sleep during nap time. Yeah. I know. Mm -mm. What do you do? She said they're outside the playing. They're outside playing. Do you lock the door? <laughs> Yes, we do. <laughs> but we also have windows to the backyard so we can see them. See. And it's getting yeah. it's So you just be like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, sometimes, yes. <laughs> Yo. It, but it, I feel like that's what makes it more fun because like we're watching them make it. <laughs> we just make sure adrenaline. they're like, yeah, we just laugh about it. And we just keep doing what we yeah. need to do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like the quickies for me, yeah. like I'm like quickies are where it's at. Yeah. Cause we're, who has time for oh. a full song and dance? One time my daughter was upstairs. <laughs> Norman's like, you said, I have time. time. I got time. You want a full no, show? No, I need, I need the, the full play. I need everything oh, building up to that. I need a good it point. Every it depends time. on the oh, day. See, I don't need all that. Yeah. I don't need, I don't need sometimes all that. I'm, I, I need quick and sometimes I do want to be romance. The whole romance. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the thing too. I feel like when you're, for me, I'm like, I've been in this messy bun all day, mm -hmm. just kind of this big t-shirt and all that. Like I want to feel sexy, but it's hard to feel sexy if I've been momming. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like I need my husband to be like, hey, like. To remind you your wife yeah. as well. Yeah. But that's why yeah. I got all the lingerie I don't wear because I'm right. like, <laughs> when, right. if, when you try it on, it's like, oh, Ooh. you can just like, oh, I might you hang out by it. myself, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it felt, I, I like myself today. <laughs> yes. yes. I think a struggle I had when it came to like my body after having babies was the um, the touching. You know, I felt yes. like breastfeeding oh and like the first six months, I was like, don't. I felt tapped out. I'm not touched. Mm -hmm. Touched out. Yeah, I touched out. Yes. Yeah, I was just like. Ooh. And can y'all explain that because a lot of people yeah. actually don't even mm -hmm. really know what that is. Karen can share that with yeah. me. Yeah, I so, never heard of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I was breastfeeding as well. Yeah. So like, when you always have the baby on mm -hmm. you. And then you put the baby down for a quick moment and your husband's all up behind you, yeah. you know, whispering out. Yeah. I'm like, Lily, like, <laughs> you know, get off the me. Yeah. It's not that you aren't like turned on by him. It's not that you don't love him, yes. but you literally, it's like, it's overstimulation yes. almost. And you don't feel like your body is your own no. anymore. Mm -hmm. Like for that moment, I was just like, you know, that, that touched out yeah. feeling is really yeah. overtaking. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be cooking in the kitchen. He'll come like try to hug me. I'm like, what? and I'm like, I promise I love you and I like you and I'm attracted yeah. to you, but no, like I just, yeah. I need my moment. Yes. Yeah. 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 Even for me, like the breast, I don't know. Yeah. I had to kind of like, like retrain my mind. It was like mm -hmm. the breastfeeding and then mm -hmm. right after, it was just like, yeah. Ugh. Like these aren't yours right <laughs> yeah. now. Just, I don't know if they'll be yours again, but it you just know, not felt right now. weird. You know, my husband loved yeah. them even <laughs> after, but he loved them. <laughs> when I, loved even them. when I didn't have like the, I didn't feel like I felt very insecure with mm -hmm. my breasts, mm -hmm. obviously because they changed a lot. Mm -hmm. But like he really affirmed me in that. So I think that made me more comfortable. He really affirmed. Like he really affirms me. He's mm -hmm. like, these are mine. I'm like, But well. how often do you affirm yourself? Yeah. Cause I feel like mm -hmm. we've talked about that too. Yeah. Like, you know, I know for me, no matter how many times my husband mm -hmm. says, you're so beautiful, yeah. I love your body. I'm like, oh my gosh, like mm -hmm. if I'm looking down, you know, like. Oh, the looking like, down is a whole yeah. 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 It's so oh rough. You need to get your lighting right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what everybody Light else off. is That's doing, it's their angle. lighting. Okay. Yeah. Looking down yeah. is not a good angle. It's <laughs> not a good angle, ever. <laughs> But no, seriously, just making sure I'm like, I've started trying to like wear better things around the house and, you know, so that when I do look in the mirror, I'm like, OK, I look yeah. cute. Sure yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really showing up for yourself. What would you say to a mom that's like struggling with that a little bit? I mean, I've, I've expressed that in 26 years, I still feel that way. And mm -hmm. I think that yeah. it is a, um, a daily practice, mm -hmm. um, depending on what you're going through in the moment yeah. also as well. I mean, when I, I find that if life itself is stressful and a lot, mm -hmm. then I need to maybe go and do those things that fill me up. Mm -hmm. yeah. If that's, I mean, sometimes for me, that's a walk. That's mm -hmm. um, definitely prayer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, going to, you know, my mom, who I'm really comfortable with to talk about those types of things yeah. or just a mentor, mm -hmm. somebody that can just, you know, that's been there yeah. and mm -hmm. that's done it. I think it's, it's so helpful to have that. Yeah, because yeah. that's who she is for me too. Aww. Like, I know, <laughs> but, yeah. but we really are like best we friends. Are. I mean, yeah. we're we're yeah. close in age, but it's just like that's who I go to for. You make me sound like I was a child. <laughs> 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 I'm like, 
I'm playing. <laughs> 20 years old. 20, yeah. Yeah. 20 years 20, difference. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. you just tend to have that closer relationship yeah. with your mom. Mm-hmm. But I'm, like, I know a lot of women don't have that. Yeah. And so I'm really grateful for the relationship mm-hmm. that, that we have. But no. <laughs> this no, is like my you. best friend, though. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. like, we friend. talk about yeah. so much. And she's like just a non biased, like, yeah. mm-hmm. that, like, sound reason like i know if i'm having a day with my husband or my child like she's gonna give me some like real advice and just be real about Mm -hmm. it i think that's important too just to have somebody like around you that can you know pour into but but also keep you accountable Mm -hmm. yeah and that's who she is for me (laughs) good job i want noble to say that about me one day me and my daughter i had my daughter at um 20 Mm -hmm. so she's 10 now yeah and i'm just like I, I hope to be like this. Like mm-hmm. we're pretty close now. We you know we have a good time. She's only ten though, but I, I hope that she is always like leaning on me. And she's because do you have like ba- do you have boundaries? Like do you have yeah. things where you're like I'm not gonna tell my mom that. Yeah, but, of course. Of okay. Course. I mean, yeah, there are certain things like Mama's like really. I still, yeah. <laughs> you know, you still have to protect. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I get the boundaries. Yeah. But I have boundaries with my mom. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. You still so have to like in your you know marriage. Like yeah. you have to protect your husband on a certain level yeah. when you're yeah. telling you know your family certain things or your mother yeah. certain things but I'll, I always know that she's going to be like in the best interest of mm-hmm. our marriage mm-hmm. you know so do y'all show awesome. pda like in front of your kids yes yes, yes. It's yes. Very <laughs> that's, that's very important to yes. me yes. so you saw that growing oh yeah up. growing up i'd be like oh please yes. get, get but off I think my it's mama important to show <laughs> that like it's not a bad thing right. you know you <laughs> want them to <laughs> see <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> oh you, now t- it's, you tell right, you gotta know what's, what's the secret. You gotta tell see. that. Well, recently, me and my husband had a little evening, mm-hmm. and you know the clothes is all over the place, and so he sends a picture. We have a a, um, no. <laughs> a group photo op. We, we have a, we have a a text thread. Oh. Where it's me, Carrington, my sister, and and, uh, and then cousin. and our cousin, and so and and we include him sometimes, yeah. and so he sends it. To, to the, oh, to the news. Oh, yeah. yes. On purpose. On purpose. He's, He's like, this is what I gave your mama last night. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be up. Karen Taylor has left the conversation. <laughs> And she's I'm like, she's yo, like, oh, this is too much. <laughs> wow. It's too much. Yeah. But I mean, I've grown to appreciate that. No, because like, it's kind of uh, yeah. like you you want to keep that yeah. same energy Absolutely. with your husband. Exactly. Wow. Noble literally looks at us like this when we kiss. She's just yeah. like, oh, yeah. like she'll just stare at us. And yeah. I love that because yeah. I didn't really see that with my parents. Mm-hmm. So it's very important to mm-hmm. me. Like we're purposeful about it. Like, mm-hmm. well, I'd say Norman's more purposeful about it. I try to make sure I don't do the, <laughs> yeah. when he does it. Cause I don't want to teach her that. Like yeah. even things, he gives me kisses and he has like wet kisses and I'm a dry <laughs> kiss girl. So it's like, he'll kiss me and I will like go like this. So then Noble started doing that and yeah. talking about his yeah. wet kisses. And I'm like, it's ah, amazing what they catch on. They're yes. doing everything. Mm-hmm. everything. I have two kids and one is like, Oh, that's so sweet. My mm-hmm. oldest one and the other one, the younger one is like, ill <laughs> every single time. But I love it too, because, mm-hmm. you know, I didn't have that growing up. Mm-hmm. I didn't get to witness any type of affection. Mm-hmm. And so it's really cool that my husband and I get to be an example for my kids. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Well, y'all, we have every week a mom writes in for a letter. And so we want to go ahead and read. Oh, I love that. B, do you have that? I have the letter. You do? So, so go ahead and read it. We're just yes. going to see what she, she got to say. So today's letter. This is a good one, guys. Okay. <laughs> hey, Ma, I've recently had our second child, and I realized I'm saying no to sex a lot more than I'm saying yes. It's not that I don't want to, but I'm tired, and sex mm. just feels like more work between the getting in the mood, the actual act, and the cleanup. LOL. <laughs> These <laughs> those, <laughs> those things were never an issue before kids. How do I get back that excitement about sex? How do I rebuild the intimacy so I see it as a connection and not work? Mm-hmm. Oh, like good. a thing, like a check mm-hmm. off the list type thing. Yeah. Like doing it for you and not yeah. just to please your mm-hmm. husband. Yeah. Cause like for me, like once we do, I'm good. Like yeah. it's great, like, but it's yeah. like getting yeah. to that. Yeah, yes, that. exactly. Yeah, it can be for sure. Yeah. I don't have the answer, girl. I yeah, yeah, I was about to say, I, I don't have the answer. <laughs> like I would be interested to know what y'all think yeah. having multiple kids. Cause yeah. I only have one right now. Yeah. yeah. So what? Oof. I, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, like, 
gotta think about it honestly mm-hmm. because for me, I feel like I have been in that position mm-hmm. where I'm so burnt out from all the things of the day and I have so many things going on in my mind. I'm just kind of like, yeah, this is when I'm in it, it feels great. I'm like, why don't I do this more often? I always am like, I'm like, why don't I do this more often? But afterwards, they roll over yeah. and go to sleep. And we're I like, like to you like got to go pee. Just pee, so you know, you know you're an adult <laughs> if you're watching this. But you have to pee after <laughs> sex. So that means yeah. you have to get up. You got to get and up. you have to go to the restroom. Yeah. Then you- it would be nice. It yeah. would be nice to roll over, but that that's not what yeah. you know. Women can do. Um, so yeah, I feel like I start. I actually before um, I would say last year. No, yeah, this time last year, I actually struggled with like endometriosis, cervical cancer, mm-hmm. all of that stuff. And so prior to actually, it was hard to even have sex. Mm-hmm. So even that, and now that I've had the surgery and I'm good, now I'm like. Okay, I'm ready. I'm I'm more like ready to do things, but it still sometimes feels like work. Mm-hmm. And but I'm excited that we can be more consistent. The consistency, it's like it's almost like when you're like, okay, I just gotta get on the train. Yeah. And once you get on that train, because how many times a week is like, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, how many times a week should we be having sex? Look at this. I say as often as you want to. to but like, I mean, but what is that average? If that, I mean, it depends on the on the, the week, couple, yeah. and it depends on the mm-hmm. couple. It depends yeah. on where you, the Which season you of life you're in. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many, I mean, you know, components to yeah. that. And I love, yeah. you know, the letter. Mm-hmm. I love the fact that she desires it. That's the first yeah. part yeah. of it is yeah. is desiring it, yeah. and then making sure. Okay, for me. You know, I've had all of these feelings yeah. mm-hmm. and it was, you know, it's going to sound weird, but it was it was prayer. I was mm-hmm. I was like, Lord, help me yes. prioritize, help me That's desire, mm-hmm. help me. I mean, me and the Lord in my shower, we was, you know, yes. <laughs> was like, right. I don't know what it is. Yeah. My shower was my church yes. and just, <laughs> you know, just like help me. Does that help me? Because I didn't I don't like the fact that sometimes I would cringe. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I hate it. I hate yeah. that. I hate and so, and hate how that possibly makes them feel I know. Yes. as yeah. well. And so you know, there have been times where I had to check in with Tammy and say, okay, is there any unchecked frustrations that you have Mm -hmm. with him or yourself? And I, and I can tell when I have them Mm -hmm. and I don't address them, Mm -hmm. then that it affects Mm -hmm. it. I also used to feel like I'm not like, I almost feel like in my, my womanhood, Mm -hmm. I, I kind of like felt like I'm not like something's not working or something like I'm like because I'm so tired and because my desire wasn't necessarily there all the time it was like am I a real like woman like I'm supposed I felt like I'm supposed to be doing all these things as a wife um but I the motherhood thing is just it takes me it definitely throws a curve it throws and then your hormones yeah the hormones are so all over the place Mm -hmm. after you give birth Mm -hmm. because I feel like that's six that's six week to me it's not enough time. I was so scared the first time. I was, I was scared. just scared. I was, scared. I was like, I just put a bowling ball out of there. Like, what is going to go in there? Like, <laughs> yeah. like it's, hello. It's scary hello. because then I feel like I just felt like I wasn't prepared or, you know, I wasn't I wasn't good enough almost. So I, and that then their part, anticipation yeah. adds. Yeah, like, like the okay. pressure. They, they count in. They're like, yeah. five weeks, six like, days. I mean, yeah, five weeks, literally six days. counting. <laughs> like my husband, I think, literally had like a calendar reminder. <laughs> I think Norman was like, well, technically, you know, you research yeah, yeah, everything yeah. trying to find the loophole. Yeah. Like, well, technically, he you went don't to have the to, doctor yeah. with me and was like, so we're good now. Right. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, doctor, I'm blinking twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other tips for this mom? Mm-hmm. I think for me, what, what helped me as like a mom too, was just understanding or even just reminding myself that my husband has needs too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that that was very helpful for me is just like being intentional with that. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, he's human. He's a parent. Mm-hmm. I'm a parent. Yeah. Like we're both doing it together. So yeah. I may feel depleted, but like when we are together and we have that intimacy, mm-hmm. it just does something to you. Like it refuels you, it gives you that peace. Mm-hmm. Even even though it's so hard to want to do it at yeah. times or get there, but the getting, I feel like the getting there is the hard part. But like once you're in it, yeah. all of the things that like yeah. makes you feel so overwhelmed or makes you feel like I can't handle this, mm-hmm. it's a lot, it goes away, yep. you know? Do you walk your spouse through mm-hmm. that? the process, that yeah. mindset, like, yeah. because I think some, even with that letter, I wonder if she has told her husband that, Hey, like 
I'm struggling with this right now. Like I'm having a hard time because I think I've, you know, expressed that with my husband and it's, it's nice that we can communicate about it so he can be more mindful yeah. and understand where I'm at. And it's like, babe, it's not that I don't love you. It's not that I'm not attracted to you. It's like right now, these are all the things that's going through my, yeah. my mind and my body. And I think that that part is kind of important too. First kid, I was definitely like that. Like I felt like I just, I just couldn't communicate mm -hmm. because I felt so shameful. I was mm -hmm. like, yeah. I just didn't know how to tell him. Like, yeah. it's not you, it's just literally yeah. me. You know, I can't control my emotions. I can't control how I feel. Mm -hmm. Second kid, I'm like, look, baby, I'm just really tired. <laughs> you know, and so it's like easier for me to do. Mm -hmm. I and do, but it's like, yeah. I, you can only say that so much. Like if someone mm -hmm. turned me down, like my husband was turning me down for mm -hmm. sex over and over and over again. And he was yeah. just, I'm tired. I'm like, yeah. I don't care how many times you tell me that, like I would still mm -hmm. take it personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I feel like it has to be like fixed and addressed yeah. and yeah. you have yeah. to work yeah. on you. Cause it, well, it you just- Well, you can't tell them and just leave it there. Yeah. 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 There's gotta be like an action mm -hmm. to work. Yeah. I think exactly. it's great that you mentioned the fact that, you know, cause it's, that's mm -hmm. the, the part of becoming one. Yeah. 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 So you're yeah. talking about things and you're becoming friends and comfortable. Mm -hmm. and cause they're not mind readers. Yeah. They're, they're sure not. Aren't. They're really, I mean, literally. I wish. <laughs> I wish. In anything, in anything, they do not read it. Nice. Selected. I wish Selected. I could like be like, yeah. this is for well, you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we just want to say to 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 you, the the mom who wrote in, which thank you for your letter mm -hmm. and your vulnerability, mm -hmm. your transparency mm -hmm. is talk with your spouse. You know, yeah. let them know what's going on, and also grace yourself. A lot of a lot of motherhood and the journey in itself is about grace mm -hmm. because you have to you got to process your body, you have to process your hormones, you got to process the journey. And it's all about grace yes. and communication and really just speaking into yourself as well. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. Yes. Do you guys have anything else for them? Any other gems? Any yeah. Things? I just love the fact that she cares. That's, yeah. I mean, that's like the big part of mm -hmm. it is that mm -hmm. she cares. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I agree. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's it, y'all. I think we're we're done. We're done. Yeah. Yes. This was so much fun. Yes. Yes. Do you guys no have more questions? Like, no, no more questions. questions. No more questions. <laughs> no, I really more. I, yeah. I mean, if you guys have anything that you ha you want to address, like, is it, is it especially for you? It's like you're a first time mom. Even yeah. if it's so not it's about like, intimacy, yeah, is there anything different? Different? that you would want a first time mom or a mom yeah. to know um, that no one told you or you didn't mm, take heed to? Mm hmm. You know, I would really just encourage women to have the grace, like extend yourself the grace mm -hmm. in every, the everyday mm -hmm. parenting. Like you're going to need grace, like the amount of grace that you need to give yourself is going to be different from day to day. That's true. And what you face on the daily. So I would just, yeah, mm -hmm. I would just say give yourself the grace, give your husband or your significant mm -hmm. other the grace yeah. because it can get ugly real yeah. quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then give your baby the grace. Like yeah. y'all are all like trying to figure it out. Y'all are all together. learning. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. all learning together. And these y'all, you new moms, this has been a different. Yeah. Oh. You know, my I have to give props to my daughter because I have seen her. I'll get a little teary, but oh. I've I've just seen her just be the most amazing mom to this little boy. Mm -hmm. She had him four weeks within the shutdown. Oh my! Mm -hmm. Birthing plan had to completely change. That was out the door. <laughs> Yeah, he was actually yeah, allowed to but be he there, almost but couldn't. my mom wasn't. I couldn't come. I couldn't come to the yeah. hospital. And we were talking about She's my earlier. first. Yeah. And so, yeah. I mean, we were like yeah. silly on color purple, but <laughs> yeah. so upset and heartbroken. But I've seen yeah. Carrington rise to the occasion um, for this little boy. And, you know, it has given me a, a total different sensitivity to these moms that have had babies mm -hmm. within this craziness. And yeah. so... She's doing a darn darn thing, y'all. Yeah. I've just been, you, I've been so proud of her. Thank How you. are you I'm doing? So proud. Yeah. You know, now I'm good. You know, yeah. when it was back in, you know, maybe 2020, the, you know, April, mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. so rough. You know, mentally, I was just in a really dark spot. Mm -hmm. um, but through prayer, um, a little bit of therapy through my, <laughs> through my fam bam. And um, that's my aunt, my mom, my cousin. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just talking to other moms that were going through the same thing, just having the community. I think that was the part yeah. that really, you know, got me through to where I am now. Yeah. yeah. 
it's really the it's it's the village yes. that yes, matters absolutely. so so much that's why we're here yeah. um because it's a, in motherhood you can have like so many people around you and yeah. still feel very alone yeah. or like if you don't have like you guys are so blessed to have the relationship that you have but a lot of moms that you know they may have an estranged relationship with their mom and they're just trying to figure it out um or even just having that like sisterhood it's just so important it's yeah. so so important i feel like it's key to getting through yeah. um yeah. the the journey well this will yeah. be helpful for those moms yes. that don't that don't necessarily have that yeah, yeah. what sure. you ladies are doing is amazing thank you yes. so much yeah. wow <laughs> we appreciate you guys we appreciate you yeah. for watching thank you guys so much for tuning in be sure to like comment subscribe just join us each and every week of moms actually where motherhood meets sisterhood What's up?